hello uh, very good morning to all of you and uh, i hope you all are safe and uh, please make necessary pre precautions for what or against corona because it's spreading uh, very rapidly now so please be take care of yourself and of your family okay and uh, those who are not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe it and if you really like the channel and the content and the quality of the content if you really like then please share to your friends and relatives those who are uh, really preparing for some technical examinations under electrical and electronics engineering okay so let's start with the what continuation of uh, last session so let's do a problem now so please uh, write down a question please write down a question Network consists of consists of network consists of resistance, comma inductance, and a DC source. Network consists of resistance, inductance. and dc source if i equal to 3 ampere and 1.5 ampere for r equal to 0 ohm and 2 ohm respectively respectively then then find i when r equal to 1 ohm r equal to 1 see this is our question this is our question normally this type of question will be asked in your examination because it's a typical in nature but it is very easy to but you have to know the concept see this is a network no this is a network and this is a load r and this is something load current i and the network consists of resistor inductor and dc source a resistor inductor and a dc source no so of course it is a dc network right because it is a dc source and it contain resistor and inductance right since it is a dc source there is no importance of that inductance there because in dc inductance offers what zero impedance so the resistance contain i mean sorry the network contains only resistance and a dc source simple even though it contains some inductances but it doesn't actually mean for means the inductance inductive reactance is zero there so that inductance also act like a resistor only not in inductive manner because for dc the effect of inductance is zero right effect of inductance is will, will not be there so a small resistance will be offered by those inductors when it is connected to uh, dc source or dc circuits that I mean there is not at all an importance for inductance in dc circuit clear so our network means it consists of only resistors right resistors that inductors are also act like a resistor so our network consists of only what resistors and a what dc source so we know that if it contains so many resistors and so many sources so many dc sources we can convert those network or we can represent that network into thevenin equivalent circuit that thevenin equivalent circuit is nothing but nothing but what is thevenin equivalent circuit is nothing but it consists of a voltage source v thevenin in series with a resistance r thevenin this is the representation of this network this network can be represented by this combination this a voltage source in series with a resistor and the external 
R is like that and the external R is like that and this is the I. So, I have converted this network to a simplified form, right? Because it contains so many inductance, resistance and all. So, I have converted this network into a voltage source in series with a resistor. Simple, I can do that. Because it contains so many resistors, so many sources, so many inductors, etc, etc. So, for all these, for I can, I can convert all these to an equivalent form where it contains only a voltage source in series with the resistor. That is the concept of Thevenin theorem that we already discussed in the last class. So, you can convert this network or you can represent this network like a voltage source in series with a resistor. This is very, very, very important concept. Because so many problems you can see simply what implies like network and some loads are there. So, you have to know well that what is this network mean for? What is this network actually mean? It is nothing but a voltage source in series with the rest of that. So, nothing more, nothing less. Is it clear? So, if you have a voltage source in series with a resistor and you have a current I, of course, you can write some relation, right? You can apply KVL, right? This loop, right? This loop, loop you can apply some KVL, right? So, what is that? V Thevenin minus I into R Thevenin, right? Minus I into R equal to 0, right? V Thevenin minus I into R Thevenin minus I into R is equal to 0. And see the condition. If I equal to 3 ampere, when R is equal to 0 ohm. If I equal to 3 ampere, when R equal to 0 ohm. That means, apply this condition. So, it will be, let be equation number 1. Apply the conditions. Apply the condition apply the given conditions so it will be what i is equal to 3 3 ampere r is equal to 0 ohm so when I apply this condition what i get v thevenin minus i is equal to 3 right 3 into r thevenin minus 3 into 0 right equal to 0 so it will be v thevenin equal to 3 into R theven. V theven is equal to 3 into R theven. A relationship you found, right? A relationship you found. And next, what is the next condition? <coughs> next condition, what is that? I is equal to 1.5 ampere when R is equal to 2 ohm, right? That is the next condition. I is equal to 1.5 ampere, 1.5 ampere for R is equal to 2 ohm. So apply this condition in equation number 1. Apply this condition in equation number 1, what I get? V Thevenin minus, what is I, I here? I is equal to 1.5 into R Thevenin, right? R Thevenin minus again, uh, I is equal to 1.5 into, what is R here? 2 equal to 0. Or simply you can write like V Thevenin minus 1.5 R Thevenin, right? 1.5 R Thevenin. Uh, e or minus 3 equal to 0. Minus 3 is equal to 0. But V Thevenin is nothing but 3 into R Thevenin, right? So, I can apply this. <coughs> v Thevenin is equal to 3 into R Thevenin. So, 3 into R Thevenin minus 1.5 R Thevenin, right? Minus 3 equal to 0. Is it correct? Or I can write it as 1.5 R Thevenin, right? 3 into R Thevenin means 1.5 R Thevenin. 1.5 R Thevenin equal to 3. Or simply... R Thevenin is equal to 3 divided by 1.5 or I can write like uh, 30 divided by 15 or it is 2 into 1.5 right 15 divided by 1.5 30 divided by 15 so you found out the value R Thevenin is equal to 2 ohm right so I can write like R Thevenin equal to 2 ohm right R Thevenin equal to 2 ohm clear and you found what is, which value R Thevenin and V Thevenin will be nothing but what? V Thevenin will be what? 3 into R Thevenin, no? 3 into R Thevenin, right? So, it will be what? 3 into, what is R Thevenin you found out? 2. So, it will be 6 volt. So, you found out the value of what? V Thevenin also. So, you found out R Thevenin and you found out what? V Thevenin. So, these are constant, right? These are nothing but the network parameters. It will not vary, no? So, V Thevenin and R Thevenin you found out. So, <coughs> you can represent the circuit like, you can represent the circuit like, 
what now you can represent the circuit like v theta in what is v theta in 6 volt and what is r theta in it is nothing but 2 ohm 2 ohm so you can represent the circuit like or network like this and the load is connected across this terminal right and this is nothing but the load r the load r and there is a flow of current i there is a flow of current i and see the question then find i when r equal to 1 ohm and this r equal to 1 ohm find i simply you can find i will be nothing but what v divided by what 2 plus 1 which is nothing but 60 divided by 3 nothing but 2 ampere so i will be equal to 2 ampere so this is the answer this is the answer let's check the answer yes so uh, this will be the answer is it clear is it clear so you simply what represent the circuit this representation is very very important unless you know this representation you can't move you can't move with this problem that is the peculiarity here so is it clear see i am going to discuss here very very typical problems okay doing some very simple problems in you know in your university examination and all it may be very lengthy but it's very easy to solve that type of problem you may see in your university examination but regarding the technical examination no it's just a matter of one second one 1 minute or 1.5 minute maximum so you have to do this within that time so that question will be tricky in nature that question will be really what knowledge testing questions okay not that much lengthy question you, you may expect in your examination but you can expect like this it hardly take one minute now you can solve within that time is it clear okay so let's move to our next session next very very important session is nothing but uh norton's theorem i think you may heard about this norton's theorem very very important theorem very very important theorem it is like thevenin theorem no it is like thevenin theorem equally important like thevenin theorem norton's theorem so in thevenin theorem uh, we discussed about a network and we have to convert that network to a voltage source in series with a resistance that is the thevenin equivalent circuit so so many questions we solved using that thevenin concept norton's theorem indicates or norton's theorem says that any network any network consists of a resistance a dc source or inductance capacitor no these all are a dc theorems right dc theorem no this that means source is, source is in nature like it is in dc it is in dc form source have a nature of dc form sources have a nature of dc form so norton theorem norton theorem says that any network can be converted to converted to a current source a current source let it be in in parallel with in parallel with a resistance called rn a resistance called rn so any network you can convert any network you can convert that consists of say that consists of load right that consists of some load right definitely some load will be there so any network you can convert into a current source in parallel with this is called the norton circuit norton norton's equivalent equivalent circuit so any network can be converted into a current source in parallel with a no resistor called norton resistor or the current is called norton current so any network like thevenin theorem 
you you converted was any network to a thevenin voltage v thevenin in series with the resistor now r thevenin so similar manner you can convert any network to a current source in parallel with the resistor r this r is nothing but this r is nothing but r thevenin this r is nothing but r thevenin and this r is nothing but the load so how can we find i n now so like v thevenin theorem we found out v thevenin by using any of the technique like a kcl kvl no like nodal analysis etc you found out the value of v thevenin similarly by using any of the method you already studied any of the method using kcl kvl no i mean nodal analysis etc etc you can find the value of in also that in is nothing but that in is nothing but short circuit current short circuit current r is nothing but r thevenin and in is nothing but short circuit current that means in in let's take an example okay let's solve by uh, an example that is very what somewhat very interesting no let's solve by an example okay consider a circuit consider a circuit e r1 r2 and r rl you have to convert or you have to find simply you have to find load current il load current il using norton's theorem suppose you have a question like this you have a question like this so this is a simple network v r1 r2 and r3 etc and rl you have to find the value of il now il now so in thevenin theorem what we did what we did first step you have to remove the load resistance and open circuit the terminal and you have to find the open circuit voltage which is nothing but the v thevenin right v thevenin or thevenin voltage clear but now in norton's theorem if you supposed to find il il what you have to do is you have to short circuit the terminal you are not supposed to open circuit the terminal now you have to short circuit the terminal like like see you have to short circuit the terminal and find in and find in this will be our circuit that means this circuit this was our question circuit and this key, this can be converted into this so that you can find the value of in you can find the value of in that is the first step that is the first step okay how can we find the value of in now how can we find the value of in now so for find in for find in what is the simple trick you can use here this is in right this is in right how can we find in how can we find in how can we find in and see for find in for find in i can reduce my circuit like this will form a parallel path right this will form a parallel path what is the total current i here what is the total current i here what is the total current i here see these two are in parallel right these two are in parallel right that is in series with r1 right so the total current i will be i can write like r2 that is r equivalent will be equal to r equivalent will be equal to r2 parallel to r3 plus r1 right that may be equal to r2 r3 divided by r2 plus r3 plus r1 right plus r1 nothing but i just calculate the total resistance so you have to calculate the current i first so i will do okay it will be definitely clear don't be confused okay so my first step is i have just calculate the equivalent resistance that is r2 and r3 in parallel my final aim is what i i have to find i in in any way you can find i1 in any way you can find i1 you simply apply k will here and you can find i1 no issues there no issues there but i am using another method simple so r2 and r3 will be in parallel in series so this will be the equivalent resistance let it be r equivalent let it be r equivalent and what will be i now what will be i now 
i is nothing but i is nothing but e divided by r equivalent right i is nothing but e divided by r equivalent e divided by r equivalent so once i found i this is also i right this is also i right so this will be what i n this will be let be i 1 just be i 1 so i n will be equal to i n will be equal to what i into r 2 divided by r 2 plus r 3 am i right i n will be nothing but i n will be nothing but i into opposite resistant r 2 divided by r 2 plus r 3 simple i found out i n i found out i n so any method you can use for finding i n no issues there there is no um, strict and but uh, strong rule that the, this, this is the only method you can do. No, it is not like that. You can use any method there, but ultimately you have to find IN. That is the important thing. So you found IN, you found IN, then we have to find what? Then we have to find what? RN or R TVN. RN or R TVN, right? RN or R TVN. Both are equal, no? Both are equal. RN or R TVN. How can we find Rn and R Rn or R Tevinin? Same manner we found in Tevinin theorem, R Tevinin, the same you can apply here also. So what was the condition for that? Switch of all independent DC sources. Switch of all independent sources. So independent source only here it is what? E. Switch of means you have to short circuit the voltage source and you have to open circuit the current source. That is the meaning of switch off. That is the meaning of switch off, switch off the sources. So you have to switch off what this voltage was here so that you can short circuit here. So R Thevenin will be nothing but R Thevenin will be and one more thing you have to note that there in Thevenin theorem here it was V Thevenin open circuit V Thevenin and R Thevenin also between these two terminal now here also R Thevenin you have to find between the two terminal. R Thevenin you have to find in between these two terminal. Okay. So the circuit diagram will be for finding R Thevenin. I can convert like this now. I simply short circuit that this is this is this is and across this you have to find R thing. And across this you have to find R thing. This is R1, R2, and R3. And R3. Is it clear? Is it clear? So this will be the circuit. That means like Thevenin theorem. And you, you do not confuse that the short circuited and again you find what R Thevenin. It is not possible there. It will be wrong. Means R Thevenin is nothing but the open circuited curve. I mean uh, resistance is there. Same that of as that of the what Thevenin equivalent resistance. So R Thevenin is nothing but the open circuited resistance. When you look from here, you have to calculate the resistance between these two terminal means you have to reduce it from the opposite side. You have to reduce it from the opposite side. So what will be R theven now? R theven equal to what is that? R1 and R2 mm. is in parallel now. So R1, R2 divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. So this is nothing but R theven. This is nothing but R theven. Is it clear? Is it clear? So this is just an example for finding how what we calculated Norton current and what effectively uh, the resistance R theory. Okay. So let's do a problem and it will be more and more clear and very very easy. Okay. Please uh, write down a question. Please write down a question. It will be very easy for you. It will be very very easy for you. It will be very very easy for you. Okay, please write down a question. Please write down a question. Please write down a question.
find in rn and in so you have to find all this you have to find all this you have to find in rn and in how can we solve this how can we solve this the same principle you applied in the what previous example now you can use here also. Okay, let's do. You have to find the IN, which is nothing but Norton current or short circuit current. Norton current is nothing but short circuit to the terminal, and you have the short circuit current. And RN is nothing but the thevenin equivalent resistance here also. And IL is nothing but the load current. When we insert the load, what will be the current? Okay. So first step you have to do is what? Nothing but you have to short circuit to the terminal and mark the current as IN. That you have to find out. That is the first step. Okay. So let's do, do, do that. So what will be my first step? I have to simply short circuit the terminal, right? Short circuit the terminal and find the IN. And find the IN. And this will be same 5 ohm. This will be 3 ohm. And this will be 3 ohm. And this will be 100 volt, right? 100 volt, right? So this is the concept. So now you have to find IN in any method. Any method you can use and you, you have to find IN. You have to find IN. Is it clear? So let's say what will be the total current I here? What will be the total current I here? I is nothing but the effective resistance divided voltage divided by the effective resistance. Voltage divided by effective resistance. That will be I. And this 3 and 3 in parallel, right? 3 and 3 in parallel. Clear? 3 and 3 in parallel. It's in series with the 5 ohm, right? So I will be nothing but I will be nothing but 100 divided by 3 and 3 will be parallel means effective will be 1.5 plus 3, 5, right? So it will be 100 divided by 6.5, right? 100 divided by 6.5 or simply it will be 1000 divided by 65, can I write? 1000 divided with 5, it will be 13 and 5 will be 200. It is nothing but 200 divided by 13, right? 200 divided by 13 that is the current i so you found out the total current right you found out total current divided by 5 5 into 3 right correct so that will be 200 divided by 13 so total current you found out 200 by 13 now then what will be the current i in now what will be the current i in now i in is nothing but this current right this current and this current is nothing but these also same current i know this current is nothing but the incoming current into current division rule the incoming current into opposite branch resistor that is nothing but you can write in will be equal to the total current that is nothing but incoming current into opposite branch resistor opposite branch resistor is nothing but 3 divided by total resistance is nothing but 3 plus 3 right or simply you can you no need to con what use okay okay i will explain 3 by 1 point sorry 6 right 6 by 6 and it will be nothing but 3 into 2, it will be 100. So 100 divided by 30. 100 divided by 30. So you no need to apply this what, uh, current division rule here because this is total current 200 by 13. These two are equal resistance now. It will be split by 2. It will, the current will be split as half of the original current. So here it will be 100 by 13 and here it will be 100 by 13. Nothing clear so this will be current so in will be nothing but 100 by 13 ampere so you found out the value of current in is it our first step finish it. our first step finish it. and what is the next step what is the next step you have to find rn right you have to find rn you have to find rn this is for what in right this is for in and you have to find rn now how can we find out find out rn i already said that rn is nothing but the thevenin equivalent resistance right thevenin equivalent resistance so for finding rn you have to short circuit the voltage source and open circuit the current source if it is independent in nature okay if for that independent source only so it will be simply short circuit the terminal like and remaining thing will be what and this will be like this so it will be 5 ohm 
it will be 3 ohm and it will be again 3 ohm you have to find r theven in or r like this r theven in or r like this so i can write r rn or r theven is equal to rn or r theven both are same right which is equal to what this 5 and 3 in parallel right and series with the 3 right so i can write like 5 parallel to 3 plus 3 which is nothing but 15 divided by 8 plus 3 which is nothing but 50 plus 24 divided by 8 or which is equal to what is that 40 15 divided by 24 right 15 divided by 24 is nothing but 39 by 8 39 by 8 that is nothing but rn 39 by 8 so you can uh, convert this to what symbol form 39 right 39 by 8 1 into 8 so it will be four point eight. So you found out R and R's. 39 by 8 you can write that also or simply 4.8 4.8 so you found out rn and what is our next step you have to calculate what il you have to calculate il so what is how can we calculate il now how can we calculate il now so for find il so that is the final step now so you have to reinsert you have to reinsert that removed resistance now RL equal to 2 ohm. So I can uh, insert again so that uh, my what my equivalent circuit reduced like what a current source in parallel with a resistance, right? A current source in parallel with the resistance. What is the value of current now? 100 by 13. So it will be 100 by 13. What is the resistance now? You can use directly 39 by 8 no no issue there 39 by 8 39 by 8 so you have to calculate this current that is nothing but il you have to calculate this current that is nothing but il so this is the total current right total current right so this current will be you can apply current division rule this current will be nothing but the incoming current that is il will be equal to the incoming current that is 100 by 13 into the opposite branch resistor right opposite branch resistor is nothing but 39 by 8 39 by 8 right divided by total resistance total resistance is nothing but 2 plus 39 by 8 2 plus 39 by 8 is it clear so it will be like uh, 3 and it will be like uh, 450 or 25 and 2 so it will be like 75 divided by 2 whole divided by 16 plus 39 divided by 8 right so it will be 75 by 2 into 8 divided by 16 plus 39 it is nothing but 55 right 55 so it will be for when you convert uh, 5 1 1 5 and it will be 2 so our final answer will be 48 by 11 so that is nothing but il that much ampere 48 by 11 ampere okay let's check the answer correct is it clear is it clear is it clear actually it's look like very big because you are doing it for first time that's why it, it feel very big and in your examination it is necessary need not to ask this all question as a single question but you may ask the parts the like you may suppose to ask find simply rn find simply in find simply il IL is difficult no because only we know IN and RN then we can find IL but you may ask IN and RN individually this type of question you may expect 
even if you don't expect for the whole question you can expect the parts expect the parts i think it's very clear to you i think it's very clear to you right okay let's do the next program let's do the next program see the concept is very very important you can use any method no issue there you can use any method but the concept is very very important okay write a question please write a question please write a question find again in rn in find in rn okay it's rn right find in rn and in so this is our question this is our question how can we find how can we find how can we find this this type of question you may expect for a aj or sub engineer like exam you may expect like this okay not very long problem you can't expect but this type of problem you can expect okay so what was our first step what was our first step whenever you see such problem and find inr and il you have to convert it one in into a tevin i mean not an equivalent circuit so not an circuit is in first step of doing not an equivalent circuit is nothing but you have to short circuit the load you have to short circuit to the load across which you have to find il it's very important that across which you have to find il that terminal you should be short circuited not other terminal suppose this is suppose you have to find this current this current i mean you have to find this portion mean you have to short circuit this and you have to convert the whole circuit into that type here it is need not or it is not necessary that always the load should be in the end side here also maybe the load here also maybe the load because my preference is that where i can connect my load it's my preference it's my priority so it's need not be all the time the load should be the entire inside load should be at the end side it need not be here in this problem it is simply rl equal to 5 ohm so it's a standard problem right so you have to think you have to think it need not be all the time that the load should be at the end load end mean end side of the circuit is it clear so first step you have to convert that this into so nothing it's not there simply okay simply how to short circuit that is nothing but i am we did what we simply short circuit the terminal ab we simply short circuit the terminal ab clear now mark the current as i n and the remaining element will be 100 to 200 volt and it will be 5 ohm and this also will be 5 so now you have to find i n now you have to find i n so my first aim is to find i n my first aim is to find i n how can i how can i find i n see this is short circuit means this terminal also short circuited that means there will not be any resistance that means the whole circuit will be simply converted like this 5 ohm only there will not be any resistance so it is will be 5 ohm and it will be 200 so i n will be equal to what i n will be equal to simply 200 divided by 5 nothing but 40 ampere so in is equal to what 40 ampere 
and n equal to 40 ampere this much simple the problem is this much simple the problem is suppose you have to find this correct this type of question definitely you may expect because in technical examination suppose you, you are you have 100 question there 80 to 85 question will be simply based on the fundamental simply based on the fundamentals that means you have to remember the fundamental and you can apply and that remaining 15 question will be what as somewhat difficult question somewhat difficult question it may be somewhat lengthy or it may be somewhat like you know unfamiliar type question you may see that so 85 percent of the question will be what simply you can apply the fundamental and you will get the answer that type of question you can expect is it clear so 100 out of 85 out of 100 you, you can solve 85 means it's a very good right it's a very good definitely you will crack the exam if you if your 85 are correct definitely you will crack no no doubt there okay and the cut off nearly you no know, kcb sub engineer aston i mean electrical inspectorate and all on last year no last session i mean 3 year back the cut off was nearly 55 around 55 marks 100 100 in, in 55 out of 100 clear so you can easily grab the question because if you know the fundamental If you know the fundamental, okay. So you found I N now. And next step, if what what is our next step? What is our next step? You have to find R N. For find R N, that is nothing but what, nothing but what. Across this A B, you have to find R N. Simple. Across this A B, you have to find R N. And short circuit the voltage. Short circuit the short circuit to the voltage is right this is nothing but r or r the in simple so what will be r n now is 5 and 5 and parallel no so it will be simply 2.5 ohm so you found out r n what is our next step what is our next step you have to find what you have to find il how can i find il i can draw the equivalent circuit i can draw the equivalent circuit that is in that is nothing but 40 ampere in parallel with rn rn is nothing but 2.5 and i have to connect the load here load is nothing but what 5 ohm you have to reinsert the load 5 ohm so this load current i will be equal to nothing but the total current that is that is nothing but 40 in the opposite right direction that is 2.5 whole divided by total resistance 7.5 is it clear so it will be 3 simply 40 by 3 40 by 3 ampere so that is the current so let's check the answer Forty-two point five, forty, correct, right? Okay, so forty into opposite side is a two point five whole divided by two point five plus five. It is nothing but seven point five, right? Seven point five, right? Clear. So forty by three is the answer. Is it clear to you? Is it clear to you? Correct. clear and you may expect some typical question in northern theorem but it's very difficult actually you have to remember the concept first you have to remember the concept only sometimes sometimes see a question like this
suppose you have to find v theven in in such a circuit in such a circuit suppose you have to find v theven in such a circuit that means a voltage source in series with a resistance and a current source and a current source in series with the answer is not possible the answer is not possible you can try in your home you can try in your home it will be not possible it is not possible actually you can't do this you can't do this you can't find v theven here you can't find v theven here clear and another circuit another circuit this, this that means v theven is not possible here but you can find in but you can find i you can find i n you can find i n i n is nothing but the short circuit current v theven is nothing but the open circuit voltage v theven is nothing but the open circuit voltage you can find you can find but you can find the short circuit current now short circuit current is nothing but this current is same as this current is same as this current that is nothing but 4 ampere you can find the short circuit current there but you can't find what open circuit voltage in such a circuit in such a circuit that means a voltage source in series with a resistor plus a current source in series plus a current source in series is it clear and another circuit is like that another circuit you can see another circuit say see a current source for ampere in parallel with the resistance in parallel with the voltage source you can't find short circuit current there you can't find short circuit current in such a question you can't find short circuit current the answer is not possible if you find in it is not possible the answer will be not possible but you, you can find the you can find the you can find the open circuit voltage there v theven there you can't find the open circuit voltage there what is the voltage nothing but the terminal voltage right 6 volt so v theven is equal to 6 volt v theven is equal to 6 volt so this is actually a very typical problem very typical problem you may try in your home this is the fact but this is actually it is uh, the chance for coming this type of question will be very less very less but you have to know the thing you have to know the thing is it clear simply you remember like this a voltage source in series with a resistance is nothing but the theven in voltage again a current source in series means you have you, do, you can't you can't able to do such a type of question the answer will be not possible but you can find the short circuit current there in circuit you can find the short circuit current is nothing but this current but in this type of question you can't find short circuit current there but you can find open circuit voltage that is nothing but theven in voltage that is nothing but theven in voltage is it clear so that is the concept clear let's check the time now let's check the time now okay time is there time is there is it clear see and source transformation in nortons and thevenin theorem how can we apply source transformation in norton and thevenin circuit source transformation how can i apply source transformation see source transformation is nothing but see a voltage source in series with a resistance can be converted equivalently converted into a current source in 
parallel with the same resistance right same resistance means it's the r theorem at current value is nothing but v theorem by r theorem so this is nothing but the source transformation in norton and what thevenin equivalent circuits you can convert the thevenin circuit into norton circuit or norton circuit into thevenin circuit any manner you can do so in problem also you can expect see you can apply both thevenin method there or norton method there wherever you feel comfort you can apply both because both are same both are same is it clear so source transformation is nothing but like this you can convert this circuit to that circuit that circuit and again this circuit but r theorem will be same right r theorem will be same and again and this current is nothing but what norton current i n that norton current is nothing but v theorem by r theorem so v theorem is nothing but open circuit voltage and i n is nothing but short circuit current this thing you have to remember in your mind and r theven is nothing but v theven by i n right r is equal to nothing but v theven divided by i n this is open circuit voltage and this is short circuit current that is very very important that is very very important is it clear is it clear so this is the concept of source transformation in norton as well as norton as well as what theven in equivalent circuits not an as well as they will equal in circuit and for clarify this concept let's do a problem where you can apply this concept where you can apply this concept write a question write a question this type of question you may expect in your examination okay this type of question you can expect find r theven simply find r theven find r theven find r theven okay simple the va graph you may have this like values like this you have to find r theven how can we find r theven now how can we find r theven now see i already said that r theven is nothing but r theven is nothing but what is that v theven divided by i n or simply open circuit voltage divided by short circuit current is it clear open circuit voltage divided by short circuit current is the what r theven so what is the open circuit voltage here open circuit means current is equal to zero point current is equal to zero point is nothing but this 20 right open circuit voltage so it will be nothing but R theven is equal to short circuited current means voltage equal to zero point. This is the voltage equal to zero axis now. How through this all points, meaning this axis, the voltage will be zero. So it will be minus five. So it will be four because resistor can't exp. No, it's a bilateral circuit. No, so simply you can represent it by four ohm. No issues there. So this is a tricky question. but you know the fundamental unless you know the fundamental is very difficult it's very difficult if you will skip the question oh what is theven in voltage oh my god what is theven in voltage it is nothing but open circuit voltage 20 divided by short circuit current for short circuit is the voltage will be zero for open circuit the current will be zero simple concept simple concept you can apply here clear okay and one more problem we can do one more problem let's check the time oh it's impossible now okay let's meet in the next class my memory is going to fill i mean so it may be switch off now okay so we will meet in the next class so until then please revise the sessions okay revision is very very important revision is very very important okay so just when you Uh, when you take a cup of tea you know at that time you you are free you know at that time you simply what turn the pages and remember or recall all the things then it will be very easy for you to attend the next class because 
now suppose you uh, study the class you prepare your and one more thing is yes, one more thing i have to tell you that notes is very very important here whenever you feel something strange to you you just note it down you just note it down the things that you are unaware of it just note it down because the self notice the best thing you have to prepare for the self notice very very important beyond that no note is there the self notice very very important that will be what very beneficial for you at the time of revision rather than using so many notes so many books you have to make your own self note self notes are very 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 important clear so please prepare your own note please take a new notebook and please continue to classes write your electric circuit theory first as first chapter or first session you can write like this like that and you have to continue and you have to keep your note all keeping revision revised all the time okay so thank you and stay safe god bless you